Are you using the search tools in Engineering Village to their fullest potential? Here's one method to help make searching more effective. First, when opening Engineering Village, note that the database or databases you have access to are listed here. If you have access to multiple databases, you can search across all of them at the same time. However, do note each database is unique in its features and functionality. For this example, I am selecting Compendix and Inspect. Start with Quick Search, where you can use the Auto Suggest feature. When entering a term, Auto Suggest begins listing preferred and non preferred terms from the EI thesaurus. Selecting a term from the list can help get your search off to a stronger start. For this example, I'll use the term nanotubes, and I'll keep it basic by searching in all fields. However, do note that you can select specific parameters to search within. You can also add and combine terms like using OR to broaden a search and to narrow the scope of your search and NOT to eliminate terms from your search or select further search limits here. Again, for this example, we will keep it very basic and search for the one term. Not surprisingly, my quick search returns a large number of results, but by using the categories here, I can refine and shape my results list to produce material that is both relevant to my specific needs and a more manageable number to work from. Within each category, I can select terms to either limit my search to or exclude from my search, and if I'm not satisfied with the results, I can easily remove terms here. Let me give you a good example of a path to take when using the refinement tools. First, I'll limit my results to one or more controlled terms because I know these are trusted terms and will enable consistent and precise search results based on articles indexing the terms I've selected. Next, I'll preview some of the abstracts in order to get a better idea of what type of results I'm getting and ensure I'm on the right track. Once satisfied, I want to see how filtering by publication year will impact my results. I can do this by going to the year category and clicking on view graph here. The graph allows me to easily view and identify trends and then use that information to apply to my search. And though I've used year for this example, you can do the same with any of the categories provided. Following these steps helps me make more informed decisions as to how I refine my search leading me to more relevant material. Even better, I can save my search to access again and create an alert so I am alerted to any newly available material in a weekly email. You'll need to register to create an alert, but the time saved is well worth the minute spent to do so.